happening now. So it's live. So uh, today we would like to see a unit. It's a special unit and it's one of the rare uh, HDB, which is a 5A mentioned double level. Because as uh, you guys, if you all have known that uh, nowadays HDB does not build any more mentioned as well in the uh, uh, recent years. They have stopped building technically. So today we will be building a, a unit is fully renovated uh, at block 717 Bedok Reservoir Road. So for those people who are not very familiar with Bedok Reservoir, later on I will share with you more about the surrounding here and what are the plus points. So over here, uh, without further ado, probably I just touch on. So uh, our owner today is uh, uh, George. So later on, uh, yeah, you probably can say hi to the people here because now we have, uh, we have the people viewing at Zoom and also in Facebook as well live. So um, right now we will just uh, share a bit more about your, uh, uh, beside, like, I mean, I want to thank you, uh, owner, for, you know, guiding us for this open house today. Especially today is a rainy day. Uh. It's very cozy. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, technology somehow is somehow rather also help us lah, because for those buyer, if let's say you are watching now through Facebook or with uh, a Zoom, then, you know, because in the past, uh, you had to come down physically to see the place. But now it's a rainy day. Uh, usually you will not want to come out at all. Uh. So now uh, even you are staying comfortably at home, right? You can just uh, even without traveling in so cozy weather. You can view through the uh, the viewing through Zoom and also through the Facebook Live. So today we will be seeing uh, mentioned in Bedok Reservoir. So uh, probably I will just let my seller to rest for a while while I actually you know uh, walk through everyone here the key selling point about your home and also the amenities around these areas for those people who are really not familiar with Bedok Reservoir. It will take around five minutes. Lah. Then if let's say, Josh, if you have anything you wish to add on, you can stop me anytime of, uh, 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 during the session. Lah. At the same time, for our guests here today, if you guys have any questions, please, uh, you can unmute yourself to raise out your question or you can raise your hand or you can also type in inside the chat box right below so that we can actually address to your uh, request whether if uh, later on if you are viewing any part of the house you want to take a look again we will address to that okay my seller is uh, very nice you know he will help to accommodate to that as well also in the meantime so i will just uh uh, okay, for those, one more last introduction. Uh, for those who are using your mobile phone, okay, you have to swipe to the left. So you will actually will see this welcome screen down here. And then for those who are using your laptop right now, you will usually, you will have to uh, click on my screen. It's either on my screen. Then on top of the uh, top right hand corner, you click on pin video. Then it will be the main screen in your uh, laptop. Okay. So over here, that let's start off uh. so over here you can see the first picture is actually the living hall area it shows the space and the flooring is all fully renovated before okay it was done by my owner in fact then the second picture over here is another direction from the living hall that's showing you the hall and the balcony okay so this is how it is like. later on during the virtual viewing you will be able to see even more much more clearer then at the last picture down there is actually the open concept kitchen whereby it's a dining area and a kitchen. So this dining area, right, uh, later on, I also can share with you, if let's say you have a family, a bigger family, right, you, you can actually convert this dining hall uh, into another room itself at the first level. So beside the three bedrooms at the second level, right, in fact, you can change, you can do up another room at the first floor. So it become four bedrooms. So it, it can be done. Later on, I will share with you from the floor plan itself. Okay. So this is the map. 
uh, whereby the Bedok Reservoir, lah, so huge reservoir that, uh, I mean, in the East region is quite popular among joggers, you know, or water sports uh, during the weekend. Unfortunately, now cannot. The, the activities had to be suspended. Lah. So right now, the circle in blue color is actually our block. That's the block that we are, are, are located at right now. Okay, so it's just right beside, behind 716. In fact, 716 uh, is the block that will be more, I mean, more noisier like, because you can see uh, 716, there's a bus stop in front. There's a, so buses will stop right in front of the 716 block. So it will be more noisier, more, more nearer to the main road, whereby 717 is actually behind it. It's much quieter and it's sheltered to the bus stop itself. Then the Bedok, the nearest MRT station is actually the Bedok Reservoir MRT station, whereby it's a uh, walking distance to there. Lah. Or you can take a feeder bus, okay, uh, 228 uh, to there. It's actually just stop at the station itself. So uh, later on, I will share with you another slide, the exact minutes walking distance to this station itself from the Google map, okay. Then the amenities, right, is actually just right opposite only. So it's around uh, five minutes walk just to NTUC there. There's an NTUC, Xingxiong, 24 hours, and a very big coffee shop down there. And also McDonald's as well. McDonald's is also 24 hours. And uh, some eateries, uh, caterpillars, and, uh, you know, bars and things like that. So it's a cozy, uh, like a small town area where you can get all your groceries and uh, food. Okay, then heading towards the north is actually the uh, Bedok Reservoir already. So if it's, it's, uh, if you if you enjoy cycling or jogging, you know you can you know challenge to run the entire <laughs> reservoir area. So uh, the the schools the schools are nearby a circle in the dark blue here. So these are the some of the school whereby uh, within this one to two kilometer. Okay, so I was, uh, these are the schools nearby. Okay, the Damai, Damai Primary, Yunnan Primary, and also within one to two kilometers is the Fengshan Primary, Jun Yun. Also, one of the famous schools is the Red Sorika. It's quite uh, one of the top schools here. La. So, if for those people who are familiar with Bodo, they will know about this school, or in fact, in Singapore as well. La. Okay. Then other than that, so this is what I have uh, shared just now, which is the uh, walking distance to the Bedok Reservoir MRT station is the downtown downtown line station, the blue color line. So it's about 13 minutes walk from there. Okay. So this is the layout. Okay, the layout itself is 140 square meter. It's equivalent to 1506 square foot, double story. Uh. So uh, another plus point is that my owner actually bought the recess area. So uh, this is actually uh, included uh, in the in the square feet, in the square foot itself already. Okay, the one that I highlighted in red is the one that I just now have mentioned that this dining area, in fact, you can actually uh, convert it into another bedroom itself. So you can do up uh, like the arrow down here pointed uh, in red. It's actually uh, the entrance to this room, okay? And then from here, then is, is another entrance to the kitchen itself. So later on, we will be able to uh, see via the virtual viewing. All right. So one of the things to highlight again is mentioned is definitely is very rare. Nowadays, it should be no longer built anymore mentioned. And another plus point is this house is actually fully renovated. That means uh, you can actually straight away uh, move in. You see, you need not to really do much. Okay, if you don't need that, let's say that's how we suggested the additional room at the bottom, right, the dining hall, right? Then you actually can save on the cash. Because renovation, you need to you need to use cash, ma, you know, unless you take a renovation loan. Nah. So so this is some of the plus point, you know, because sometimes renovation costs may be quite high, la, especially now after, you know, after this 
phase one, anything, you know, they already mentioned construction costs will increase and things like that. So in terms of renovation costs, they, it, it, it might increase as well. So this house is fully renovated. You need not to spend that much. Okay, you can save on some of your saving, your cash on the renovation cost. And also the hassle of renovating this as well. So this is one of the main plus one. Because especially it's a mentioner. Uh, so usually when you do renovation for mentioner, easily you can cost 60, 70,000 and, and in fact even more. Okay. So the third point is the one that I have shared. Okay, which you can convert another bedroom if your family size is huge, you know, or your parents is staying together with you if they, your parents need you know, they cannot climb up the stairs and things like that. So they can actually use the room at the first level, okay? Then unit is away from the main road, which gives you a quieter environment and yet also cozy. So because you just very near to the reservoir and all the amenities there. Unit does not have any afternoon sun as well, okay? So now without further ado, we shall invite, uh, my seller George again to come back, you know, to uh, share with us uh, uh, his uh, apartment. Okay, so uh, I I done with uh, some the key key selling points and the amenities here So anything you want to add on or not, George? No, uh? Uh, not at the moment yeah, Welcome everybody. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, I shall give me a second. Uh. So, I should put George's phone or Aloysius. Uh. Let me see. Uh, put Aloysius. Okay. Give me a second. Uh. Now, I try to... Uh... I try to put Aloysius. Uh. Hmm. I can't put your name. Uh, how come? Give me a second. Okay, you have to turn on your video. All right. Okay, so we shall able to see Aloysius' screen right now. Okay, Aloysius is actually uh, uh, my seller, actually, uh, son. So he's helping out with the camera. So I thank you him as well. Okay, at the same time for our guests, if let's say there is any question or request, right, please feel free to type inside the chat box. We will actually uh, help to answer the questions whenever if you want to see any part of the house, okay, during this walkthrough. So, if let's say if there's nothing on to add on, uh, we shall start this uh, tour. So, right now, okay, uh, can I? Uh, okay. So right now, right, we are actually standing right outside the uh, entrance. It's a cozy, uh, right now it's raining outside, so it's very windy, I suppose, and cozy. Now we are entering into the house. As you can see from here, from the entrance, there is a full height. Shoe cabinets was being done at the recess area. So this full height shoe cabinet is, uh, is considered a fixture. And the recess area, which uh, we have mentioned earlier on, is already been bought by the owner lah. so it's like an additional space you know in front of you so you can do this uh, shoe cabinet it belongs to the the seller lah. okay so this will be uh, will be at the east condition the same fixture will leave it there okay now we can uh, go into the we can look at the living hall thank you Okay, probably show here. Yeah, this will be very good. So now we can can we can technically see the entire space of the mansion at the from the entrance all the way to the hall and to the balcony because balcony uh, at that end there right is actually sub in the old old I mean without reno uh, if the uh, original condition right is actually uh, it's not enclosed one it's an open one. So owner itself have done up the entire place. See, so the flooring probably we can slowly move towards the balcony area, or you want to show them the kitchen or balcony. Okay, yeah. show the kitchen first. Okay, show the kitchen first. Okay, so now we are sharing with you 
the kitchen area and the dining area. So this is the, okay. Okay, we are seeing the dining now. Very good. So dining area, this is the portion that we have mentioned just now. We can convert into one of the bedrooms at the level one. It's huge enough. You can fit in a, a queen size bed wardrobe and then it's still sufficient. And in fact, over here, the, at the right hand side, you can see there's a two fridge. My owner actually put a two door fridge down there. So this probably you can visualize from the, the, the tiles, the flooring, uh, there's a separation there. Uh. So the kitchen is the gray tiles. The dining dining area one is actually the wooden wooden tiles. Okay, and it's an open concept. In fact, the kitchen, you really need not to do anything at all. It's all done up already. And in fact, if you are if like uh, just now we have mentioned, if you 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 are actually only have a, a family, uh, without like parents or anything, you can move in straight away at it is condition. You need not to convert the dining hall into another room. At the end of the side there, there will be a washing area, as you can see. So the dryer and uh, washer is there. So that is uh, another place for uh, doing your laundry purposes. Uh. For your kitchen itself, uh, you can see it's all really pretty, all done up really. Top and bottom cabinets. All was being done. And the renovation, uh, to add on, uh, my owner actually do up the entire place. Uh. So it was around about five years to five to six years ago. It was done. That is why you can see the condition is so good. Yes. Okay, right now we have uh, I think there's quite a number of people here. We have nine person here right now. So we are heading into the living hall. And then, okay, over here probably Aloysius, you oh, you want to show them the the storeroom, is it? Uh, I'm just showing the living room first. All right. So that is how the living room space it is. If a uh, fixtures wall TV console down there, pretty nice done up. So you can actually witness how the space it is. And then uh, the feature wall will be considered a fixtures, uh, will be remain there. And uh, oh, there's a massage chair there. <laughs> I didn't notice during the last video. Okay. Now uh, we are gradually heading towards the balcony. Balcony flooring is a homogeneous tile. And it was enclosed as well, like, as you can see. It's enclosed. Okay. So it's considered like part of the living hall already. Yeah, flooring and the uh, living hall flooring as well. Okay, uh, the, the living hall flooring is the vinyl, is it? Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Okay, so below the staircase, we have the built-in uh, storeroom. La. Storage. La. Yeah. The original storage will be beside the entrance. Later on, we will show you guys. So this is just, uh, just a short view of the storage space. And then the actual storage room will be just right beside the entrance, which is this door right here. La. The actual storage. Correct. Just beside the entrance. Something like that. Lah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Probably we shall proceed to second level. Okay.
Okay, the flooring for the staircase why right, is a parquet. In fact, over here we can see it's all parquet all the way to the second level platform as well. So over here is another the area we have uh, done up for. This, this area is a bit special. It's like it's like a, a resting area, you know. Just lay back down there. <laughs> okay. In fact, uh, another suggestion probably you can expand the room if you want to, lah. Or if not, you just leave it as it is. I suppose it can be done. So now we are entering into another room. And uh, most of the rooms, right, it come with fixture as well. The study area. Now we are going to the... I'm not sure it's showing us the study area. It's a built-in desk study desk and uh, is this cabinet yes. is uh, fixtures as well yes okay built in. yep it's built in so there's also a built-in wardrobe okay so this is the wardrobe lah. So I, I, I believe all the three rooms, they have the similar uh, similar design yep. and uh, some cabinet pictures. Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, someone want to ask about how is the view here? Uh, for this? this? Uh, okay, the view here, this is from uh, upstairs, the room. Yeah. So downstairs is pretty much the same lah. Just a I wider see. area, uh, area view. Okay. It's the shelter to the bus stop, currently under renovation lah. So that's mean like just how we have mentioned before already, because this block is actually behind seven one six, so it's not like directly facing the main road lah, where where is the bus stop will be there. So the one that facing the main road will be more noisier. It's a very cooling day today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, we, we, we should go to the, the another uh, room and the master. Okay, so this is the toilet. La. It's fully done up as well. Together with the uh, wall tiles. Basically, it's all done already. Let me see. Uh, someone asked me the HIP. Uh. HIP is... Uh, HIP is done already. Done, right? But it's done, already done, paid, done. huh? Yeah, pay everything done already. Okay. Just to double confirm for the guests here. La. Yep, all done. Okay. Probably, now moving on. Yeah, now we are moving on to the next one. Probably the 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 uh the one that raised the question later I will actually uh answer you. Okay, I will check for you then. The rooms okay, this one is actually the study the study desk, similar to just now that room as well. It's a built-in. It will be remain behind, of course. Pictures will be will be remain. Only movable items right will be removed. La. Yes. So that is how normally for the sales transaction will be. Uh. So that means it's like as it is condition. Alright. Now so we are we going to the uh, master room. Yes, it's a very huge master room down here together. Uh, if I'm not wrong, this is considered a fixtures, right, as well, the TV console. Yes. All right. Okay. So this is where the wardrobe will be in the dressing, dressing area. 
So it seems like a walk-in wardrobe la, because uh, the wardrobe is like separated from this bedroom. So you, 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 the dresser and the wardrobe at another area and together with the attached bathroom. Then this will be the toilet connecting to the master bedroom. Okay. Likewise, it's all being done. Okay, the, the bathroom is actually done by the owners, not the HDB one. Yes. Yeah, all is done by us. Um, waterproofing, all, all everything passed already there by the officer for HDB. Okay. So that will be it for the second floor. Okay. Probably we... Uh, anyone want to see any part of the house again? If not, uh, we let Aloysius to go back downstairs. Then uh, 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 probably uh, he can take a rest. I will share with you the floor plan again. Just a quick run through so that... Give me a second, huh? Okay, so probably you guys can see my screen right now. Okay, thank you Aloysius. Huh? So I, I, I run through back the layout again. So to just let people are more familiar with the, the, the unit itself. So just now we are actually walking from the level on top as you can see from here. So just now the one uh, uh, when we pause and see the view right. It's actually the bedroom tree. Yeah, the view is actually from here, the bedroom tree. Then just now the master bedroom and another bedroom is actually at another facing, which is facing the south. So the master bedroom just now with the door and we, we enter in, right? We saw the dresser and the wardrobe there. So that is the cursor that I, I pointing at, like, if you all can see. So the level one just now, is the one that just how I have mentioned, you can actually convert this into a room lah, if you want to. But if let's say you, you did not need to have another additional room, it's fine. You can just actually move in already, straight away. Yeah, and save the renovation cost. <laughs> now, uh, renovation cost is costly, lah, I would say. So it's like, I will uh, probably just a clean up or you know, fresh coat or paint, you can move in already. Okay, so now I want to uh, share a quick one. Uh, the, the units here that is selling similarly sized, of course, there is uh, some uh, within this two block because uh, mentioned that right, it's already very rare at this point of time already as we have mentioned before. So in Bedok Reservoir, it's only certain block that is mentioned as well. So these are the units currently is actually on sale in the market. Yeah. And uh, the highest you can see from here is actually uh, asking for 780. And uh, most of the units is actually asking at the range of 750 and so. So we are actually consider we price it more or less competitively at around this uh, uh, price range. To stay competitive with the rest of course no doubt our seller you know is you know he's uh is a serious seller and he will wish to you know any offer definitely he will also consider so at the meantime probably if uh, if uh, anybody here today the guest if you know we can actually if you are really keen and shortlist right we can Ask him for a uh, you no know, 10% discount here. If hopefully he can give a 10% discount, then you know we can talk further more on Dula. But now just to highlight the main pointers again, okay. So uh bear in mind mention that is no longer uh stop building already. HCB no longer build such a huge size of uh uh flats anymore. So the, the biggest one right now is actually the three gen. In fact, the three gens are. Uh, it's only 110 square meter. If I recall, it's 110 or 115 la, around there. So it's already like a, a normal five room flat size. La. So this one is actually 140. It's a huge size. Unit is fully renovated. You can really save on your renovation cost. 
and you can actually convert into one of the room at the first level. And of course, the cozy and the locality is one of the plus points as well. You know, especially at the reservoir area here, it's, it's a very cozy area in the east and also it's very near to a MRT station. So these are some of the plus points down here. So in the meantime, if let's say, um, I thank you everyone for coming in for today and for those who are actually watching live in Facebook. Uh, uh, this, uh, I also thank you Aloysius and Josh for showing us your beautiful house today. Thank so, you, no problem. <laughs> So yeah, so far, so far we actually conducted, okay, for the guests down here, right? So far we have conducted a few viewings here already. Yeah, and we, in fact, we actually expected some offer coming in soon. And in actual fact, we did have uh, offer before already. It's just that um, uh, there is some negotiation or terms that we still need to be agreed on now. So if not, actually our unit will be considered so. So right now, uh, we still, uh, of course, if you are keen, we can arrange another private viewing just for you alone. And then if there is any offer, you can actually just put up to us, okay? So in short, if let's say, if you are here with your agent, please uh, uh, revert to your agent real quick or if you are a direct buyer, you may actually come back to me for any questions. Lah. So since I answer all the questions for today, I mean, I hope everyone have a great day and uh, stay safe. I mean, today is a very cozy weather. Lah. Okay, like, like, you know, uh, very cooling weather. So please don't miss this opportunity to own this lovely flat. Yeah, so that is what I want to stress. Lah. I mean, highlight to you guys. So without further ado, Thanks for everybody uh, tuning in. So remember, our unit is actually uh, at Block 717, Bernard Reservoir Road. Okay, so our, if anything, please leave us a message, uh, give us a call. Uh, if not, I will see you guys in the next building again. Uh, that's all for today. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.